Hey everybody, Jason here. With the recent fears surrounding semis and the sell-off that we've seen in them over the past week or so, it got me thinking I should take some time to analyze some of the biggest names in the space to see how they're shaping up. I'm going to focus on NVIDIA and AMD, and specifically because of the gains that they saw last month. And I know you're asking, why am I talking about last month? We're going to get to that. NVIDIA gained nearly 36% open to close last month. AMD gained about 30% from open to close. These are huge move. So it's not a surprise to see them cool off a little, but is this pullback just to build some strength for a continuation higher, or is there something more to it? Is the top in? Let's see if we can find out. When we look at the alternative data on the platform, we get a bit of a mixed message. On AMD here, we can see that insiders were selling earlier this month. This uh, Lisa Sue in particular, she's the CEO. She sold $37 million worth of shares, so that's a little concerning. But then when you look at the unusual options data out to the end of the year, it is call heavy, and we know Know that June tends to be a poor performing month. If we switch over to NVDA, we see something relatively similar. Insiders selling big lots here, middle of the month, but then on the unusual option side, it's more call heavy into the end of the year. And we know that June is seasonally weak. So maybe these guys are just following that seasonal trend of weakness. When things are unclear like this, sometimes it's best to use cold, hard data. We know how much they gained last month from open to close. We can test and see when moves like that happen, how do the stocks tend to perform historically? So I'm gonna to go to AMD here and I'm gonna turn on my strategy tester. I've got a strategy pre-built for this particular move, just a 30% move from open to close. And then I'm exiting six candles later. And when I run this test, I get some interesting data back. I can see 27 positions with an average return of 22.56% over those positions. When we go to NVDA, same idea, but I'm going to switch this to 35% and rerun the test, and we can see the average return of 63.5% over seven positions. That brings us well into the $600 range. So if you look to historical data to answer the question of whether or not the rally is over in these semi-names, history is suggesting that it is not. 